Hey guys, how's it going? This is David again with an update to my previous video on how to make Windows 8 faster. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make Windows 8.1 a little bit faster. It's going to be pretty similar to my last video, but you know, there will be some little new tips here and there. As you can see, this is the new Windows 8. It's got the nice start menu back. It's, uh, eh, people make a big deal about it, but you know not really that different uh, so we're gonna get right to it the first thing I want you guys to do is to open up your task manager so that you can do that right by clicking the little status bar down there click task manager and you're gonna start off in processes or maybe you'll have a little you know a little square box like this once you click more details and then go right into the startup tab and here you're gonna see a whole list of different applications your list is gonna be different from mine and you're gonna see their name you're gonna see the their status and then you're gonna see their startup impact so a lot of the things when your computer first logs on it's gonna be starting up all sorts of these applications right but what it does is that it slows down your startup time so it takes a long time from you to go from boot to when you can actually start doing things so what, what you want, I want you guys to do is to go down this list, see what you really need, right? Like for example, I don't really need a Google toolbar notifier. So I'm gonna have that disabled or I may not want this QuickTime task to run when I first start up. So I'll disable it. And this doesn't disable uh, you being able to use the application. It only disables uh, when it starts up. So if you don't want it to start up and maybe you wanna use it later on, you can disable it here, it's totally fine. And what this does is it will, it'll really save you a lot of time during the whole boot process so after you get through that it's really easy to disable just right click it and click enable or disable I want you guys to go on through the tabs go to the services tab of the task manager and from here I want you guys to click open services it's down here at the bottom and that's gonna bring you to this menu and this is gonna show you all the services that your computer runs so services take up a lot of your systems performance both in its startup and then its RAM usage and its CPU usage later on while you're using your system and some of these uh, services you definitely do need but a lot of them aren't really that necessary and they start up when your computer starts up and they're just taking up space there and it's not really useful so I have a quick little list right here of uh, these services that are totally safe to set to manual most people are gonna have any problems with it but as always you know double check yourself see if you do need it and basically what you can do is uh, for example application experience I'll just look for it right over here application experience and then I can right click it go to properties and then usually it's set to automatic just set it right down to manual and then click OK so what this basically does is that this uh, service won't start up until you either start it up or uh, an application needs it to start up and for the most part I mean application experience processes application compatibility you know most programs they're not gonna use it right so this will really save a lot of time and I'm gonna have the full list down in the description bar so you can do that on your own time and you know just go through the list see if there's anything that you're sure you don't need but you know always be sure that you don't need something before you go around disabling it because you know you don't want to mess up your system right so just go, we're good there the next thing I want you guys to do is just hit uh, your Windows key and R or if you don't if you don't have Windows key maybe you're using like a netbook or whatever just right click your start menu and hit run and then I want you to type in sysdm.cpl so sysdm.cpl and I want you to hit OK or enter and this is going to bring you to your system properties tab. I want you guys to go over to advanced and then under performance go to settings. Now this box is for the list of visual effects that your Windows has on your computer. So this includes things you know feeding in and out your uh, windows or this little peak feature over here you know all that like no it's kind of eye candy and you don't really need it and if you have a slow system you're gonna want to disable some of these because they really they take a lot of your system resources so over here I have a list of things that are of the things that you should maybe want to consider disabling right so just set it to like animate controls you know you can disable that or 
windows when minimizing and maximizing all of these things again I'll have this in the description bar below so after you're done maybe disabling whatever and then just go ahead hit apply and then OK and you know most of it looks the same it's just some of the you know the nice animations may be gone but again if you have a slow system you're gonna prioritize your performance over some of the nice uh, nice things to see right so you know go ahead disable what you don't need and then hit OK alright so after that we're just gonna go ahead and I want you guys to open up a Windows Explorer so for example just hit this PC and once you're in Windows Explorer I want you guys to go to this tab up here go to view and then go to options and then in options I want you to go to view again and then over here in advanced settings there are some of these settings that really they just take up time when you're trying to open some documents and they aren't really that useful so I have a list of them right here that are totally safe to uncheck so these may include disable file size information folder tips hide empty drives in the computer folder hide extensions for known file types etc so maybe just go through these and disable them because to be honest you don't really need them and they do take up time when you're trying to open up your Explorer so I'm gonna have the list in the description bar I'm not gonna go through all of it but just you know uh, go through it one by one and just disable what you don't need lastly I have a little special tip uh, it's something that I actually didn't know for a long time but until uh, I noticed recently uh, over here down here in your status bar when you see your battery icon I want you guys to left click it and then see what your power plan is so go to more power options over here there are different plans for how your computer balances your you know your CPU versus your screen time versus basically how it runs your system and for a lot of people it's when it's set on power saver your computer won't use a lot of its it won't try to try to efficient use your system's resources when it's on power saver on balance it's pretty good but for those of you who want you know the best performance that your computer can do go down to high performance and check the high performance plan because this is when your your computer is going to be using your CPU to its maximum it's going to be using everything that your computer has to offer to run your system and that's how you're going to get the best performance from your computer so that's about it. I hope you guys uh, learned something from this. Again, I'm going to have everything down in the description bar. Please uh, check out my last video if you didn't see it. It's got some other tips. And I hope you guys learned something. And I hope you guys will like and subscribe and tune in for next time. Thanks.